there was an issue with day zero in Cape Town. This whole city was going through water stress and in fact not going to turn off the taps. We didn't understand how a coastal city could run out of water. We actually did a little bit more research and found out that in Gauteng it was the same case. There was a case of water scarcity. We couldn't imagine that 12.5 million people were in danger. We realized that the issue wasn't that Cape Town didn't have water. Cape Town had water, but the water wasn't usable. So we started thinking of ways that we could turn water that's available but unusable into clean water that could be used for other purposes. The Living Machine is a wastewater treatment system that has the potential to filter over 300,000 litres of water a year. We started this project in our first year and we heard about the Zaid Sustainability Prize in Abu Dhabi and how it supported sustainable projects all over the world. Throughout first year and until the summer break, Jesse and I were applying. Jesse was in Kenya, I was in Ghana. I didn't have wife at home and neither did Wuntia, so I would go to a cafe and open with them and close with them at midnight. Wuntia would pick up the slack and that was the cycle that we went through. There was a lot of coordination and trying to balance that with our summer and our schoolwork was just really interesting. We were chosen from a pool of over 3,000 applicants. From the very beginning, it just felt unreal to some extent. And when they announced the Global High School Program and the winner is blah, 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 the African Leadership Academy. I was lucky enough to go pick up the award and it was just incredible knowing that we'd been working on this for so long and we finally made it. That moment is something I'm never going to forget. Just taking a one step can lead to so much. Coming back and actually managing the project, that was a totally different task. We broke ground June 10th, 2019, and we thought that in about two weeks, which would be graduation, we would be done with construction. And six months into it, December 2019, is when we are actually launching the living machine. We realize that it's so easy to think of something, but actually pushing through it is the real difficulty. So the living machine's future is that that 300,000 liters of water it filters a year will be used to grow crops that will then be used in townships across Johannesburg to further food sustainability initiatives. Our biggest calling is to serve and to serve with diligence and purpose for our people.